Yeah, there's a croc right there. Oh, and a bear. A croc and a bear. A croc and a bear walked into the bar. A croc says to the bear, have you seen an old guy on a big ostrich? And the bear said, yeah, one just ran by my nose. The croc said, you want to team up on him? Because I'm hungry and we need some lunch. The bear said, nah, probably not a good idea because he'll shoot us in the face. That's a true story, you guys. No word to lie. Welcome back, everybody, to Icarus. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we're going to continue our exploration of the Great River Basin, Central River Basin. Why Why do I never freaking get, get that right? Whatever this place is called. Something River Basin, Central Great River Basin, something like that. Uh, anyway, um, so... The, uh, they just came out with the Thumper update, and let's talk about the Thumper update, but before we talk about the Thumper update, they also put just a couple of sentences in, um, in that said they are working on the ability to replant trees. Um, they said trees first, and then at the very end of the patch notes, they said vegetation. So they must have been listening to me whining and complaining <laughs> in the last episode about that. I seriously doubt uh, that uh, that uh, Rocket Works, you know, watches my videos. But the point being, that's very good news. You know, I'm glad that they're thinking about that and working on a solution um, because that's one of my major, major complaints about this game. Besides its terrible performance, is you know the fact that you know we got these gorgeous trees and and the trees are part of what makes the environment gorgeous and part of what makes you want to build your base in a particular area. And uh, it just sucks when you lose them, you know? So I'm very happy that that's in the works. Now, let's talk a little bit about the Thumper while we start uh, moving and doing some um, some more exploration here. Uh, first of all, it looks like I need to drink something, so let's drink some water. Um, we might as well refresh these food buffs here because... Um, they're gonna we're gonna lose those anyways um, and then yeah let's look at the map so we want to go basically to the west now I'm not gonna go I, I'm not planning on going up in this area uh, at least not right now and the reason for that is because I've already pretty much been all around this area on our multiplayer server um, so I've already been on there and if you really, really, really badly want to see me explore this area, then go go watch some of the past uh, live streams which are on the channel. Um, I need to talk to my community too about if we're going to continue the Icarus multiplayer server, um, so we can you know continue doing some Saturday live streams. Uh, so I'm not sure if that's going to happen yet. I got to talk to everybody. Uh, it it hasn't happened because I've pretty much been completely strapped down with work for the last three weeks in a row. Um, and I have a lot more work stuff coming up too. So, you know, my playtime is, uh, is quite a bit limited for the next, you know, two or three months as a matter of fact, which sucks, but it is what it is. Um, all right. So anyway, that, all that to say, I, I want to investigate the Southern part of this area and see if we can pop into the, to this snow biome and this desert biome, uh, you know, from here. Okay. So that is the plan. So let's go ahead and point West and start moving in that direction. Okay, so let's talk about this Thumper thing. I read the patch notes. Uh, the idea is really cool. There's a couple of things, though, that are unclear to me from reading the patch notes, and feel free to let me know in the comments, guys, uh, if you've already experimented with it. Uh, and I'm, you know, I would, I, I plan to not, I'm, okay, talk mouth. <laughs> Good Lord, what's the matter with me? I'm not drunk, I promise. Um, I'm planning on trying it out uh, when we get back to the base, but you know, obviously we got to wait till we get back to the base and we're out and about doing some exploring. So I'm, I myself will not get hands on it, you know, for, you know, another few more episodes probably. So let me know uh, what you guys think about it, but I have basically two questions. Um, they seem to imply in the patch notes that the thumper messes with the environment, but what exactly does that mean, though? Does that mean that if I place the thumper down um, in the area that I place it, is it going to modify the terrain um, in some way? 
you know, I, I know they mentioned it'll kick up dust and stuff like that, but they seemed to, what I gathered from when I read, it seemed to be almost a warning. Like, if you do this, yeah, you're going to get an endless supply of ore, but you're going to screw up the environment in some way. Um, that's what it kind of sounded like, but it wasn't clear to me how screwing up the environment will actually work. So, um, for those of you who are watching this video, if you've already messed with the thumper, let you know. Feel free to let me know in the comments, you know, how that part of it works. Because here again, it, I'm not going to be able to try it myself for another couple episodes. Wow, look at that view, guys! Isn't that amazing? I mean, you know, we we don't see the the real distant terrain, but that is cool looking. Okay, let's deal with this jag here. Um, the other thing that... The other question that I have... Actually, I have two more questions. Oh, you know what I'm also hoping to see sometime in the patch notes is... Well, two things. Put a damn scope on the rifle, A, and B, fix the aiming so the aiming works. Okay, but anyway, that's a side note. Um, so my other questions about the thumper are, I'm a, oh, for goodness sakes, I'm assuming that it's going to thump on the ground and then ore nodes are just going to pop up. So like these nodes here, except for they'll be iron and copper and whatever else. And then we just mine them like normal. That's my guess as to what's going to happen there. Uh, if something different happens, let me know. Because they did say in the patch notes that it's not going to be deep, uh, deep veins. Because they said something about it being a you know a different voxel uh, type. So I'm just trying to decide. Do I want? Yeah, I guess I guess we'll take take this for now. Uh, but we're we're in exploring mode, so we can't really tank up on our inventory too much here. So the second question that I have is they also indicated that if you use the thumper, it's going to attract wildlife and they even, um, it's going to irritate wildlife. And they even showed a picture of the worm, you know, doing the, doing the whole dune thing with the thumper in the update. So my questions about that are, is the thumper something you turn on Wait five minutes for a bunch of ore to pop up and then turn it off. Gather the ore and then go on your merry way until next time? Or is it something you turn on you and you leave it on perpetually? Doggone it, Jaguars! For Pete's sake. Do you just leave it on perpetually and over time, you know, the, the ore nodes will spawn? Now, if that's the case, then... What are you supposed to do about it being attacked? I mean, you, it's not like you can just stand there and babysit it the whole time, right? You got to go do other things. So I guess that part is also unclear to me as to how that's going to actually work. So we'll try it out, of course, on this series when I do get back to the main base. And, you know, if if I don't hear from you guys in the comments before, then, then I'll just figure those things out myself. But anyway, those are just the questions I have. Overall, I think it's a good idea, though, that we have the thumper. I think that's cool. But more importantly, I'm more stoked uh, that they're going to do something about allowing us to regrow trees. That is very cool. And I'm very curious as to how they're going to implement that, too. Now, I had some ideas, and this is just between you guys and me because, you know, they're just ideas, and I'm sure other people have probably already come up with similar ideas. But I was thinking that what you could do for for trees on your property that you don't want to get destroyed by storms. There's a couple of things you could do. One option is, look at this. You know what? I think I remember, that is such a neat view. I think I remember actually looking over here on the multiplayer server once and saying the same thing. Look at that cool view. It's very neat, um, but it's also kind of steep going down that way. Let me look at the map here. Uh, looks like we want to go southeast to get down. Okay, so let's go this way. So here, here were my ideas. Have us be able to craft and install a guy wire. Um, if you don't know what a guy wire is, it's basically like a cable that you can attach to Things like, you know, telephone poles or trees that are growing. Um, 
that will support them. So, you know, if the wind is always blowing, for example, from the north, you put the guy wire on the north side so that the wind doesn't blow the tree to the south and cause it to grow crooked. That kind of idea. So if you could attach a guy wire to any trees that you don't want to be blown down near your base, then that way they're, you know, they'll be fine during a windstorm. Okay, so that was my first idea. My second idea is to come up with a, and this is a, this one's a little, a, a little less, I guess, realistic, um, but a little harder to also figure out too. But basically, come up with a fire retardant concept that you apply to trees that will then protect them from lightning strikes and from burning down. And that could maybe be like a paste or something that you that you craft, like the mortar and pestle, for example, or the cam bench or whatever, um, and then apply that to the trees, and then that way they're invulnerable to burning down from lightning strikes. And the thing that I like about those two ideas is that they're, they're pretty realistic. The, the flame retardant, not as much, but still, it's plausible, right? And it's something you could craft, and it would be fun a fun part of the game and fun game mechanics so you could preserve your trees. Rather than come up with some kind of magic solution where they just all of a sudden are invulnerable, because that's not realistic either. So anyway, let me know what you guys think uh, about those ideas, or if you have um, similar ideas. Man, this is just gorgeous. This game is so pretty. Um, yeah, so yeah, let me know. I was going to say one other thing too, and I can't remember what it was now. just kind of enjoying the scenery here though this is just beautiful i love it absolutely love it and i, I am i am definitely thinking uh, along the lines of having multiple bases um like outpost bases across the map if you know if i decide this is going to be a longer term playthrough which i i guess i really haven't decided that yet you guys seem to be enjoying the series so far. I'm getting a decent number of views for my tiny little channel. <laughs> I don't get I don't get a whole lot of views overall um, compared to a lot of other people, but you know it is what it is. Um, so those of you who do watch my videos on a regular basis, I just want you to know I greatly appreciate you uh, for doing that. And obviously, um, you know you are enjoying my content, and I just super appreciate that. So anyway, all that to say, if we do plan on doing this for a really long playthrough, then, you know, having outposts at, at key locations across the map would be kind of fun to do. And so that's kind of, you know, what I'm thinking, because the thing about it that I have to consider if I am going to make this a long playthrough, a longer playthrough, is, you know, what, what do we do to keep things interesting and keep the content uh, fresh because after a while you know especially if we just stayed in Ring Lake the whole time I mean we've kind of been there and done that if you know what I mean so it'll you know there will come a point to where what else are we going to do to keep things fresh so one big goal to do that is to build outposts in in different parts of the the map that we come across and that we you know like the scenery so anyway those are just some things that are going through, going through me brain. You know what? I passed up some corn. I was going to get some corn for the bird. And I've just been busy yapping the whole time. So if we come across some more, we'll grab it. Uh, we could also grab some, let's turn our light on. We could also grab some soybeans too. The soybeans fill the bird up pretty quickly as well. All right. So anyway... Let's um let's take a look at the map now. So we are kind of down in this area. Uh, I want to go down and check out this big lake all the way to the south. And so we'll kind of come down through here, check out the big lake, and then wrap up and come up the other side, and then see if this has opened up into the Arctic. So that's generally the plan here. So we're just kind of having a casual brought across the map enjoying the scenery doing a little exploration that's what it's all about man so 
you guys who are uh, who are watching regularly, or well, even if you're just watching for the first time, um, let me know how many of you are doing open world playthroughs, and what sorts of things are you doing in your open world playthroughs? You know, to to keep it fresh. You know, so it doesn't eventually. I mean, any survival game is eventually gonna get boring. I mean, that's just the way it works. And then we move on to a different game or do, you know, replay it in a different way. I mean, that's just the way it works. But, you know, what are you guys doing in open world playthroughs to keep things fresh? And what are some things you would like to see me do um, on this series in our open world playthrough? For example, would you would you guys like to see me take this character and, and do some actual missions um, and then, you know, come back to our open world after we've done some missions. Uh, let me know that because I don't mind doing that. I'm not necessarily planning on doing that, but I'm not opposed to doing it. And, and you know, one of the advantages of doing it would be that we could um, unblock the Arctic. Okay, two, hold still. All right, dude, seriously, you're starting to piss me off here. Come here. Okay, so let's get his food topped off. Uh, he's actually in really good shape. And we're going to... No, that's not what I wanted to do. Let's put... Let's... Oh, for Pete's sake, man. What's going on here? Put this over here. I think it's the lag. <laughs> it's caused me to drop these things. Okay, so he'll, he has a full stack on him, so that's good for his food. Yeah, so let me know what you guys would like to see. Uh, there's the corn, but you know what? We got the all the soybeans now, so that'll be fine. In this series. You know, do you guys want me to just do pure open world and nothing else? Or do you want me to go do some, uh, some, some missions? Um, or do you want me to... Do you want me to end this series completely and, and start a new one, you know, doing something different? I don't know. Just let me know. I'd, I'd like to hear back from you uh, in the comments. Now, those of you who, who know me and have been watching my content for a while, you know that at the end of the day, I'm going to do what I think is the right thing to do. But that doesn't mean that I'm not listening or considering other people's suggestions. I will always consider your suggestions. But ultimately, at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I'm going to make the decision that I think is going to be that's going to work best for the channel and you know best for me because it's got to work for me if i'm not happy nobody's happy you know that kind of thing right is there a, is this a cave over here i don't think so i want to find a place where we can spend the night When I was up on this ridge looking down, this really seemed like it would be a cave. But it doesn't look to me like the wall is vertical enough. But let's check it anyway. Yeah, see, no, there's nothing here for me to break open. Okay. Let's just keep on keeping on this way then. I don't really want to... Uh, wander around in the dark be mostly because we can't see anything we can't see very well and we're here to enjoy the scenery and check out the landscape so doing that in the dark kind of defeats that purpose the other option of course is we could maybe erect a, just a, a very easy shelter but that takes a little more effort than I want to put in the nice thing about this area is all the running water, you know, for for water power, water wheels. You could have unlimited power for free. You just have to, you know, regularly clear out all the crap in the water wheel. Oh man, that view is just, I never get tired of looking at that view. It's so cool, man. So cool. If you guys didn't already know this, some of you may not. Um, I, I've 
I'm also playing No Man's Sky and just thoroughly enjoying coming back to No Man's Sky. Um, and one of the things that I really, really like about that game is when you land on a planet that has another huge planet right next to it and you look up in the sky and like almost the entire sky is filled up with the view of another planet. It's just so cool. I don't know. There's something about that 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 uh, I really, I really like, you know, I just think it's really neat. Okay, anyway, um, keep looking. I guess we just keep looking for a cave. Where are we at now? Oh, we're almost, yeah, we're almost to the big lake. So we definitely want to look at that in the daytime. So, yeah, let's just keep looking around for a cave here that we can spend the night in and get, make it morning. I've quite possibly already passed a couple up, but it's kind of hard to tell where they are. Let's go up against the main mountain wall and see if there's anything over here for us. Not really anything there, so we'll come along the wall this way. Something's bound to open up here soon, I would think. Nothing there. I'm sure glad we have these mounts. Um, you know, doing this on this mount, it's just, you know, not only can we move faster, that's a buffalo, but it just makes it more fun. And, you know, if we get attacked by something, I can either stop and kill them or I can just run away if I want to. Oh, okay, so we are getting... Where are we? Ah, okay. So this gets us back into the Arctic Cloud. Now this is... Okay, so this could be a shortcut to get back to here. That's really good to know because we know we can get into the Arctic on this side. And now we can also go through here. That'll save us a lot of time, uh, you know, to get back home when the time comes. We won't have to go all the way back around because, again, I wasn't... Well, you know what, though? In this particular case, it isn't going to do us any good because I am planning on exploring back up through here. So we'll still, when we come home, have to come back through the, this way. But, I mean, for future reference, that's very good to know. Let's just go a little ways into the Arctic. Not going to go too far, but I just want to take a peek up over the top of this ridge here. Oh, there's one of them uh, tornado thingamadoodles. Yes, indeed. That looks like a very cold environment. Okay, cool. What time is it? It's almost 10 p.m. There's a polar bear over there. Hopefully we'll come across a cave here pretty soon. Let's go take a look and see what's over this direction. Not really anything that looks like a cave. Oh, speaking of bases, too, um, I am planning on adding an extension to our current base back at the Ring Lake area. So that'll probably be one of the first things we'll do when we get back. In addition to trying out the thumper. Where are all the caves at? That gives us a nice view of the valley from that direction. Just trying to, oh, that scared me. Uh, I was just trying to see, this is a severe windstorm. Yay. That's not really what I want to be out in. 
Okay, well, let's go... That looks pretty steep going down that way. Let's just go back around here and drop down. Maybe we'll luck out and find a cave at the bottom of this little ridge here. Stamina depleted. Looks like we can get down here okay. Wow, where in the world are all the caves, man? What is up with this place? You know another thing too. Oh man, I thought for sure that would be a cave. It's not though. Regarding the trees, I think the trees are too fragile. You know, like reduce, reduce the um, the number of trees that are knocked over during the windstorm. Is that like an ice fall? I think it is. Oh no, no, that's just a normal waterfall. I, I, I can barely see the animation of it. What a neat view though, man. Yeah, I mean, I've been in the forest in real life, you know, during high winds. And, you know, you do occasionally get a tree that, uh, you know, a windblown tree, but I think the game is a little excessive. Of course, I guess on the other hand, though, the storms on Icarus are, are a lot more severe than they are on Earth, so I guess that's not really that unrealistic. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm just going to wait here. And I might just semi-AFK until morning. Um, and then I'll bring you guys back uh, when uh, daytime comes. All right, guys. It is uh, almost 7.30 in the morning, and the sun is coming up and lighting up the mountains to the west. Gorgeous view. Um, there's also crocs in this lake, too. Um, we didn't have any come after us overnight, but I could see him out in the water and hear him um, growling. So let's go ahead and, oh, it looks like our lantern went out too. Put this new one in. Once, once the lanterns wear out, we'll have to just use torches, but that's not a big deal. So let's go out on to this point here. Yeah, there's a croc right there. Oh, and a bear. A croc and a bear. A croc and a bear walked into the bar. A croc says to the bear, have you seen an old guy on a big ostrich? And the bear said, yeah, one just ran by my nose. The croc said, you want to team up on him? Because I'm hungry and we need some lunch. The bear said, nah, probably not a good idea because he'll shoot us in the face. That's a true story, you guys. No word to lie. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, uh... I want to go over there, and so these guys are going to be a nuisance if we don't deal with them. So let's deal with them. Where's that bar? He was right over here. Where'd he go? Croc down there too. Yeah, that's the one thing that's a pretty insignificant consideration if you did have a base here, is you'd have to deal with the crocs. And they are aggressive and mean and a pain in the butt. Alright, let's see if we can pop this guy in the head. That's not who I was aiming for. Oh, we got him. Did we get him? No, we didn't get him. Wait, yeah, we got him. How about that? Okay. Let's butcher this guy. And we'll take that and that. Don't need that stuff.
Guess we'll take care of him too, so he doesn't attract more crocs. All right, so what I wanted to, to do was go out onto this little peninsula here and just kind of look around. Waterfalls are pretty neat. I hear a croc over this way. Oh, there he is right there. Oh, I didn't even shoot him in the head. That was a butt shot, and we still killed him in one shot. I don't know if that was the same one or not, so let's just be on our guard. Okay, so having a base out on this peninsula will be kind of neat. There's not a lot of trees around, so you wouldn't have to be too concerned about, you know, trees coming down. You'd have that waterfall view there, which is really cool. And another thing you could possibly do... Here, let me... I'm going to grab this... Uh oh, did I just drop my sickle? What is up with me and dropping stuff today? Oh no, I didn't. It's right here. Put this back down here. Put this here. I just want to grab some berries for the fourth food buff there. Okay, so what you could do is build here on the peninsula, but you, then you could also set up like a little bridge idea uh, coming across this way and then also build another building on this island that would be kind of cool and if you wanted to you could do the same thing on this side too have another bridge going across to that side And there's, there's, there's enough, what is that, aluminum? Yeah. There's enough space, even on this island, to, you know, you could build a pretty decent sized main building if you wanted to. So that's, that's just some ideas for future reference. And you got that, here, let's turn our light off. You got that view out that direction. And... The view of the mountain valley and the waterfall this direction. All right, well, here, let's jump on two and head over to this side. Oh, that's not even that deep, so that's almost more like a ford. There's Komodos all over the place. Is there a cave behind that waterfall? There's a bear. Okay, follow me. A bear and a buffalo just spawned. I want to see if I can... What did I kill? Oh, I killed the buffalo. Oh, the bear's coming after us. There he is. Okay. Alright, bear's dead. Buffalo's dead. Now, are there any crocs? I don't want to mess with them in the water. Can I fire my rifle underwater? Oh, I can! What do you know? What do you know? Okay. I don't know how realistic that is, but if it works, it works. Let's get... Let's harvest this guy. 
good. We got some more T-bones. Um, we're out of room for bones. Yeah, whatever. Let's just leave them. I'm probably going to end up dumping them out anyways because we don't need to be carrying them with us. This looks like it could be a cave. And that's because it is a cave. Oh, wow. Look at this, you guys. This is cool. This is very cool in here. What a neat place for a base, eh? A hidden base. Me likey. There's titanium in here too. We should grab that titanium. We will before we leave. Just want to see how extensive this is. Um, this reminds me of. It's reminiscent of, um, Valhalla, the Valhalla map in Ark: Survival Evolved. Uh, because there was, there were a couple of caves, of, as I recall, on that map that were behind waterfalls like this. What a neat place, though, hey? <laughs> I love it. I was not expecting this. Okay. Well, um, let me see here. I think what we're going to do is let's set down our campfire. And cook up. A T-bone and maybe a little bit more meat after that. And I'm going to mine the titanium for sure. And I do have the titanium mod on the pick, so we get an extra was it 20% or whatever? What do we get from that? Oh crap, no, I've got the copper mod on it. <laughs> okay, well, whatever. I guess I took that off and put the copper mod on. When I was desperately low on copper. Uh, but we'll grab this titanium. And um, I think what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen, is we're going to wrap up this episode. And then we'll pick up right where we left off in the next episode. Look at that crock right there. And continue our exploration. But I am going to most definitely remember that this is here. Um, it's just kind of an exotic location to have a base, you know, and what, what we could do is you could kind of have the best of both worlds, meaning that, you know, you build inside the cave, but you also have, um, you know, build out underneath the waterfall so that you, you can you know, come out and have the neat view out here too. So you could build part of the structure out here on this this ledge, for example. Like maybe have um almost I'm thinking like a porch where you could sit down and just enjoy the view, but have like your main base back inside of here. And I wonder also I wonder if any of this would count towards running water for power. It doesn't really look like it, but, you know, there's no way to tell for sure unless you tried to set something down and see if it would let you do it. You know, this looks like running water here. It's certainly animated, but that doesn't mean it would actually work. Well, that croc's about ready to spot us. No, well, let's spot him instead. Yeah, this is cool. All right, yeah, we'll keep this in mind for sure. Um, I'm kind of tempted to grab this gold, too. I think I will. But, guys, anyways, I'm going to let you go here. And, uh, like I said, we will start up in the next episode, right where we left off, and continue on our little exploration.
Should I grab copper too? No, I think I'm going to leave the copper. We've got a lot of it at the moment. Uh, so with that being said, thank you everybody for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment and share out the video. And we'll catch y'all in the next episode. Bye-bye.